what is going on guys welcome back to the channel hopefully you guys are enjoying this PUBG content uh, we got a brand new video here for you guys and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below do you love it do you hate it do you guys want to continue seeing this type of footage in this video what we're gonna be doing is squads I've yet to actually I've, I've had a lot of people hit me up from the first video that we posted the first time I ever played this game uh, I had a lot of people hit me up uh, wanting to do squads and play the game together. Do not worry. We're going to do all of that. Uh, I'm still, of course, getting used to the game. But wait until you guys see this one. This was pre-recorded. I'm doing a voiceover. But uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I'll, guys, uh, I'll go ahead and walk you guys through it as everything is happening. But I did go ahead and do squads. And this is kind of... Um, I start... I, okay, I learned about the invite... And the follow thing. So I went ahead and follow. I thought this guy. I mean, his name is German guy. Uh, what is it? German guy 111. I mean, just solely based off of that. I'm like, this guy knows what he's doing. Like, this dude is legit. We are landing in uh, the pier. Uh, Ferry Pier. Turns out this guy was not as squared away as I was hoping or, or anticipating. We did go ahead and pick up an M16. And we're just gonna, we're just trying to see where we're at inside of the safe zone, uh, trying to see exactly where our location is. And if you guys look, we're pretty much smack dab right in the center inside of the safe zone. We're just gonna kind of make our way th uh, through here. I'm trying to follow uh, German dude right here as we're just checking, you know, checking these buildings. Uh, and this is a position I, I've learned is not the best one being right there in the center unless you have something like a sniper rifle and you have an incredible vantage point uh, being right there in the middle of the safe zone is definitely not ideal because that is where everybody is going and you can be hit literally from every single side we also uh, have picked up a pistol uh, just trying to pick up some ammo when when I recorded this I didn't know how to do half the things that I know how to do now uh, things like, you know, how to even, you know, dump a weapon where you, where you open up the backpack over on the bottom left. You know, you, you click the weapon, just drag it off uh, the screen, you know, onto the floor. But here's our first action right here. We did go ahead and pick up this guy right here. Pop, 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 pop. Dude is going to go down. Check that out, guys. With the M16, that is our first kill. And I noticed that my partner right behind me, literally, he's just like kind of running around, not doing a whole lot. And this guy sees that body. We're going to go ahead and snipe him just like that. Taking him down with the M16 with the freaking headshot right there. Getting it done. So now that's two kills. Notice I didn't put in the title. I did not put in the thumbnail how many kills we're going to have. Wait until you guys see this. So we did go ahead and pick up that Uzi. So yeah, I have learned a couple other things. You know, how to drop weapons. I noticed uh, when you have a helmet or a vest and it starts turning red that you want to go ahead and swap it out even if let's say you have a level three vest that's damaged to swap that shit out with even a level two or even a level one vest uh that has uh you know full armor that has not been busted uh so again we are slowly slowly but surely we are getting um better you know trying to learn the mechanics of the game and with that the game becomes that much more fun and i will also say for a mobile uh, you know, being a third person shooter like this, you know, that you're playing this on your phone, uh, you know, or even on your tablet, it's truly incredible. The graphics, we got the new update, and it looks like we're seeing someone over here uh, down the road. We have a decent spot since we are kind of in here in the shade, taking flank. We're getting hit from the side right here. Where the hell is he? Trying to find him, trying to find him, trying to find him, trying to hide behind this bush. And right here, there he is, that son of a bitch, gonna go ahead and gun him down. Another huge tip uh, that I have, that's three kills now, three. Huge tip I have, and one thing I, I, I didn't know, or I don't think they even tell you in the tutorial, is when you're getting fired, if, if you're getting shot at, you don't know, you know what side it's coming from, you're trying to figure it out. If you look at the map, you can see where it has red, looks like, uh, at first, I thought they were footprints. Then you realize they kind of they kind of look um, you know more like more like uh, bullets. But you can tell w where the action's coming from uh, just by following uh, that red. And we're gonna go ahead and meet up with the other guy in our squad. The other two are already R.I.P. Uh, but here's this guy right here. Um, what the hell? 
I don't even know what his name is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, this was just you know, like a you know just a random matching you know as far as the squads go. Um, but yeah, so that is a huge huge tip I have you know for mega noobs you know like myself knowing where what side. There's another guy right there. Looks like he's coming by, and we're gonna go ahead and gun his ass down. There we go. Um, went ahead and knocked him out right there. So and then this right here, uh, I noticed my guy took some he took some fire. So I'm actually going to go ahead and try to revive him. Takes 10 seconds to revive, but we start getting hit ourselves. I'm trying to find out where it's coming from again. When I made this video, I did not know about the, you know, the red bullets uh, to know where the fire is coming from. So I had no idea where everyone was coming from. And look at my partner. He is crawling up to me. I mean, this is, I mean, just straight up war zone right here, uh, trying to crawl his way towards me. I'm trying to get healed up. Oh, that first aid kit. And right as I'm about to revive him, check this out. Dude dies right at my feet. We have, we have got to avenge um, the guy in my squad right here. As he was crawling up, he was, he literally, I think he even touched my foot. I'm pretty sure he touched my foot. But he died just, in, you know, just at the, at, I mean, the worst time. So anyway, see, now we can, now you can kind of see, we're following the footprints. There's this son of a bitch right here uh, that killed my partner. We're going to go ahead and gun his ass down. There we go. M16, the M16 does work too. Count up, guys. That's one, two, three, four kills now. Go ahead and check the dead body. All kind, we got painkillers. We got Red Bulls or, or energy drinks. Uh, we got that 5.56 five, ammo and especially that first aid kit. Uh, so that was a good grab. Um after that after that kill right there so we're just trying to see trying to position ourselves where we're at on the circle kind of out in the open we're trying to get up to this ridge and if you guys see we have pretty much been dead center inside of this safe zone so we're gonna try to make it up to this ridge right here trying to lurk in the shadows and i mean just like you i mean just like how you think you know in battle i mean the way things work i mean the a lot of the mechanics would apply in sort of like a real life situation, you know, hiding in the shadows, you know, uh, you know, crouching, you know, ducking, hiding behind things like right here, hiding behind a rock, you know, finding cover wherever you can. Uh, we see this guy right through the flowers trying to gun him down. Uh, I don't even know. Is this, we don't even have a scope. Isn't it? No, this isn't the iron sights. I don't know what scope, but maybe it's just a, a times two or something. Um, yeah, it's definitely not the iron sights. But we're going to go ahead and try to gun this guy down. There he goes, just standing out in the open, uh, kind of like a big idiot. I'm going to try to take a couple more shots. We did just get the knockdown. I, and I also learned, if I'm not mistaken, if you get the, the knockdown, but you don't go over to the body and kill him, as long as nobody, uh, as long as none of his teammates revive him, you still end up getting that kill once uh, his life actually expires. Uh, let me know if that is true uh, down below. And we see another guy down here. A lot of action, like I said, right in the center of this safe zone in this entire battle, you guys. Check out, count them up. That's five kills that we have racked up so far in uh, this squad match. And I am the last uh, of the uh, the last guy live inside of our squad. Still, we I think there's we think there's one more person on the other side of this rock right here. Just trying to pan the area. Another thing when I when I recorded this, I didn't know about the eye thing. How you can look behind you without actually turning your body and exposing your location. Uh, that little eye, you know, just pressing on that eye and moving it around. Uh, you can look, you know, on your peripherals. You can go ahead and look behind you. Pretty awesome stuff. Uh, so again, <laughs> the recordings and the attacks will get better. Uh, you know, as we continue playing this game, uh, but here we see this guy right here on the other side of this tree right here. This son of a bitch right here. He doesn't even know where we're at. He's running. He's running around like a big idiot. Uh, doesn't even see us. Doesn't even see us behind this rock. And I realize uh, he wasn't even the one shooting at me. There's actually somebody else. So I'm trying to gun down the guy that doesn't even know my position. While there's a guy right behind me trying to shoot my ass. But there, that, there we go, guys. That's half a dozen kills, uh, and we go ahead, we go ahead and pick up some ammo, and go ahead and pick up a helmet as well. And now we're gonna go ahead and try to find that other guy that was actually shooting at us. Um, I was trying to take down that other guy, but we have six kills already, you guys. Um, and they are about to restrict uh, the area. So right here, 
If you guys see my vest is completely red. This guy had a vest that was like half health basically. Should have swapped that out if I had known. But now we know about a damaged vest or a broken vest versus one, you know, that, that hasn't been. Uh, and we'll go ahead and, you know, just apply some bandages. We are almost at 75%. There's this guy, this uh, bastard right here trying to shoot us. Good cover, amazing cover from behind these rocks. You guys are going to go ahead and kill his ass. That's seven kills. What is going? Seven kills, guys. Count them up. Uh, lucky number seven right there. Going to go ahead and pick up another Red Bull. Or, or an energy drink, energy drink, it looks just like a Red Bull, energy drink, and um, and we'll go ahead and check this out, we also got some painkillers as well, taking more heat, this is like four guys that have tried to flank me on this position, uh, right here in the center of the circle, this son of a bitch, uh, trying to run away from us, picking up eight, count them up you guys, picking up eight kills, I actually like the guns that we have right here, um, probably should have swapped it out. I think that was the mini right there. Uh, but again, I didn't know about dropping weapons yet. Uh, so we've pretty much been hanging on to the M16 and the Uzi for the remainder, um, uh, you know, of this, uh, of this battle right here. But that is eight kills already. And we have only five guys left remaining as we're making our way. Uh, we actually have a little ways to travel to get to the safe zone. Uh, we are safe from the gas, um, but that safe zone is getting smaller and smaller as we make our way, as we're just going to kind of crawl, crawl through this area right here, as we're making our way through um, uh, this field right here. And we are now in the safe zone. Obviously, we have a horrible position. Uh, so we went ahead and got through the field, and we're trying to hide behind this bush, trying to hide in the foliage and again uh now there's only four guys remaining and here's this guy right here went ahead and took his ass down uh and beautiful beautiful attack right there and we actually have uh the ak now um and, and and now we're gonna go ahead now there's only three guys remaining and i'm pretty sure right here you guys they are going to be inside um, of that building right there. So before we had the M16, now we have uh, the AK as we picked it up from that other body. Um, and we're just trying to figure out, we're trying to figure out what we're going to do in this position. Now there's only two alive, you guys. Look at the gas, look at the safe zone. Look at the shield around us. And I'm pretty sure right there is where I made my biggest mistake, giving up my position, traveling from that bush to that bush. And we see him. And just in time, the dude ends up taking us out. I'm in, honestly, I'm not even mad at that one, guys. If you guys didn't notice, I'll go ahead and point out picking up 10 kills, 10 kills um, in this match right here. So, uh, you know, hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. Like I said, when I record this, I new i mean nothing we are slowly learning trying to give a little bit of tips and tricks as we are learning but hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you hit that like button this has been Riggs from Riggs gaming and i'll see you in the very next video